All right, we're going to work uh, a little bit of chi sao, and um, I think chi sao gets a bad rap. I think it's got the, there's a lot of points to it that are valid. It's not the end all be all, but you know I think that it has merit, and I think that you know it's it's all in the eyes of the beholder. If you don't see anything in it or don't like it and you don't do it, well, that's I mean you're not going to get anything out of it. But if you really dig deep, there there's something valid to it. Obviously, we're not going to go hey I want to fight and then we're here doing this. This is not what I advocate, and this is not what it's about. Uh, a lot of times people have come, when they when I was fighting, they see me fight and they say, you know, I've seen you fight. I don't see you doing the pop and a lop and all that trapping stuff or, or chi sao. And I kind of beg to differ. Uh, if we're, if like if you were in my guard or I'm in his guard and, and I'm there and he's trying to grab my neck, I, I think there's something valid into holding him off because we're trapped. I mean, I'm up here and we're like kind of tied on to each other. We're stuck in, in that range. So having that tactile reflex and being used to it is good. You know, it's like jumping rope. I wouldn't stand in front of you and just kind of go, hey, man, I want to fight. There, there's something to jumping rope that's good, and you draw from what is the good, and you just go on with your fight, and that's what it should be. But to say this doesn't have merit, I think they're missing out on something, okay? So right now, if we're going here, and I'm rolling, I might go in. I might just go into that little Russian tie from here so I could hook on and hold here, all right? Obviously, I could swing. I can go into a fireman's, or I can go into a pick or a single leg. It's, it's what you see out of it, but it's a good reference point. It's, it's to me, it's like it's almost having like one of those uh, batting cages that's shooting the ball and you're hitting the ball. You're, you're just kind of like batting practice. It's, it, he's what he's doing is he's feeding that energy, feeding that energy, and when I feel the energy is right, I can do it and then go into it. So if you take that from it, it has merit already. So it's worth it's worth learning. But if you think about cheese out and it's right here, and this is just one small piece of it, but I can go in and I can get that hook. And then what, what we could do is, like as far as the trapping thing, he can push off, he can hit me, right? Or, 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 or that maybe the, the hand's on the shoulder. Whichever way it goes, I can grab it and I can go right into the tie on the other side. So if we're here, and if you want to play further, and if I feel him get, get, uh, get on it, I can go in it and get into the grab. Or if he's shoving up, and just shove off, right? Right, uh, no, right there. If he shoves off, then I'm into it on the other side. You see, it, it, it doesn't matter. You'll get with your partner, and there's going to be that... Uh, I always call it the courtship period where you're getting used to each other with it. But you'll see that the more you play, you go. If he doesn't go up, go with it. Or if he goes and if he puts that hand up, I just go up and I go here and I'm going to grab into it. If he pulls away any time, see, I just feel that it's giving you that tactile reflex just to go. And if you go into the hook, uh, like into the, uh, the hooks and the, uh, the, the ankle picks and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it is what it is. And you're going to get what you get out of it. If you think it doesn't work, you're right. You got to believe in it. You got to kind of make it work. And, you know, I mean, I've seen a million other drills for like getting into this or into the ties. I mean, we have, there's pummeling. You'll see guys, and then they'll go, okay, we're going to go here, and then we'll go here. And it's all great. Like anything else, like bench pressing, I kind of get tired with it, of it after a while, and you want a new exercise. So it's good, I think, to have the variation of. So being she, able so to So chi sao is kind of like hand pummeling. It's like <laughs> hand pummeling, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So when you're here, and see, it's there. So and it, it's part, I mean, it, it's, it's got value. Just look at it, you know, and, and you'll see. If, if you sit there and you just kind of poo-poo it, you're going to lose it. It's gone forever. Give it a good, honest chance and understand it. There are so many things early on in my martial art career where I looked at it and I went, eh. And then later I went, oh, that was good, or it does, it does have value. So I think if you're smart, you'll just look at it and really play with it. And just get with somebody who kind of knows what they're doing because I've seen a lot of people there. I go, oh, they got it. And then I'll feel that energy. I go, ooh, they don't have it. <laughs> so you got to kind of feel it out and see if you like it or not.